Hello, good morning to you. Welcome to Business. Chairman of the Parliamentary Select Committee on Trade and Industries, Nana Mafu Amenyampong, has urged members of the Ghana Union of Traders Association, Guta, to desist from closing shops belonging to foreigners who operate in the local retail market. This, he noted, could lead to retaliatory actions against Ghanaian traders on other foreign countries. The MP says countries must depend on each other in international trade and therefore no need for Guta to close down shops of foreign retailers. Naname Nyampong was commenting on the back of recent threats by Guta executives to flush out foreigners occupying the local retail markets if government fails to do so within a week. He spoke with Joy Business in an interview. This Guta thing, I mean, deep within, I'm telling you, even those, it is out of frustration that I mean, these Guta members are doing that. When Nigeria also began to flex their muscles, you also started hearing that they've closed their borders and this. If we think that, we will not, because we've made a law that this should be ceded to Ghanaians alone. So we don't want to see foreigners here. They can also say that, fine, we don't need Ghanaians to come and also send anything to our country. Uh, and also take anything from our country. At the end of the day, you see that, I mean, both countries will suffer in a way. When I came to parliament, this law, this act, 856, has already been in existence for almost 15 years. And somebody was saying that, the church chairman was saying that, uh, I'm saying that that law is a bad law and we have to change it. Fine. As at that time, if they, they have that uh, benefit of the future, probably that law might have not been put into it. Because let me tell you, whether we like it or not, sometimes we can behave like ostriches, bury our head in the sun and behave like nothing is happening, only for uh, some car to come and knock you off. We need Nigeria, Nigeria needs us. because. No particular country can be self-sufficient. If America of all places, China of all places think that they need Ghana, then it tells you that everybody needs everybody. Away from that, the Ministry of Energy has directed the Petroleum Commission to evaluate the opportunities and risks the implementation of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement could present to the upstream petroleum sector. The Free Trade Agreement is expected to come into force by the middle of next year and Ghana is hosting the Secretariat. Addressing the 6th Local Content Conference in Exhibition in Takradi, Deputy Energy Minister Dr. Mohamed Amin Adam said enforcing local content requirements within a free trade area should be a matter of concern. Most players uh, within the upstream petroleum sector have gathered here in Takradi for the 6th Local Content Conference and Exhibition, which is scrutinizing the progress made so far with the implementation of local content policies. Now, it has become especially important because next year we'll see the implementation of the Continental Free Trade Agreement, and that could also pose some challenges. Well, addressing the opening of the conference, um, the Deputy Minister of Energy, uh, Mohamed Amin Adam, called for an assessment of the opportunities and the risks presented by the implementation of the Continental Free Trade Agreement. Countries with local content initiatives aimed at accelerating the capacity of their people and businesses have greater opportunity to access the bigger regional continental market. On this note, let me take the opportunity to direct the Petroleum Commission to begin to evaluate the opportunities and threats the Africa Continental Free Trade Area presents to Ghana's local content implementation. Meanwhile, the Petroleum Commission has announced tough sanctions for indigenous firms found fronting for foreigners. Acting CEO Egbert Fable made the announcement today. The era of fronting is about to end. Beginning next year, the Commission, working with other state actors, including the Registrar General's Department and the Ghana Revenue Authority, will begin the enforcement of the relevant laws, including tax assessments on the basis of one's equity participation and hence profit sharing, revocation of operating permits and non-issuance of permits to indigenous Ghanaian companies and their partners who are proven after thorough investigations to have engaged in fronting. Let me therefore use this opportunity to advise 
all those engaged in fronting to put a stop to it immediately. About 60 companies are participating in this year's local content conference and exhibition, and the conference is hosting uh, participants from countries like Brazil, Mozambique, Nigeria, and Trinidad and Tobago. Daryl Kwao, Joy Business, Takrade. And we'll bring you more of that local content conference in the subsequent bulletins. That's it in business. Back to Inimwa.